living under the power of the Holy Spirit only leads you into a life of being supernatural. Yes, indeed. Living a supernatural life is not an event where you go to some sort of conference or some event and the man of God or woman of God lays hands on you and you go all squiggly and then it fades and you're back to your normal um, way of living. No. Living in the supernatural is a lifestyle. Amen. Wow, it takes us to day number 26, Acts of the Apostles. And I'm going to take you through Paul's third missionary journey found in chapter 19. Here yeah, Paul is has reached um, Ephesus. And then Paul talks to some of the believers and, he, and they say, listen, we've received, well, he first asked them, what sort of baptism you have received? And he was getting more direct. Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? Now that was in verse 2. And they said no. So they only knew about John's baptism. And the supernatural, if you want to walk in that, you got to be fired up with the power and the fire of the Holy Ghost. And let's see what Paul did. In verse 5, as soon as they heard this, that is, they heard about the Holy Spirit, they were baptized in the name of the Lord. Paul laid his hands on them, and the Holy Spirit came on, upon them, and they spoke in other tongues as one of the manifestations of being baptized and prophesied. Friends, that's the start of the supernatural life. And look what happened. Later on in that same chapter of chapter 19 God gave Paul the power that's important God gave Paul the power the supernatural power to perform unusual miracles amen and that's what you can do too when you under the power of the Holy Ghost what did Paul do when handkerchiefs or aprons that were that merely touched his skin were placed on the on sick people they were healed of the d diseases and evil spirits were expelled hallelujah what a supernatural lifestyle paul and all those that were believing and full of the holy ghost were leading you too friends can do and lead the same life with the same power jesus has never lost his power the holy ghost that was prevalent back then when the disciples were doing all these unusual miracles and signs and wonders it's the same Holy Spirit today question is one thing to be a believer it's another thing to be under the power of the Holy Ghost the Holy Spirit so living in the supernatural is not an event but a lifestyle we got to demonstrate God's power wherever we go, we go, demonstrating that power on demand. Hallelujah. And the way to do that is to be prayed up full of the Holy Spirit. And whenever you call to demonstrate that power, you are ready. And that's right, ever ready to tell the world, show the world the God we serve. Mighty God and Heavenly Father, Daddy, we come in no other name but of your Son, Jesus Christ. And we are so guilty of just being, once again, mediocre Christians. Just knowing the Gospel, knowing who you are, and living that life all to ourselves, totally focused inward. Today, we allow the Holy Spirit to come in so that we can have that power as declared in X18, so that we can be great witness, witnesses for you, Lord. And I pray that I speak it over your precious sons and daughters. And that lifestyle of being supernatural, Lord, will be prevalent wherever we go. Not just only happens when we go to some event, but Father will 
be our daily living. That supernatural walk with you. We thank you. We praise you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Well, once again, friends, my time's up. So until next time, this is Pastor Henry Samuels. Praying that you remain touched and changed. In Jesus' mighty name, stay blessed.